Hello everybody, welcome to the show. Hope you're all doing well. And uh, today we're going to be talking about inline fans with built-in smart controllers. So sort of a bit more of a sophisticated fans episode for you all. Now, when most people hook up their grow room, what they'll tend to use is a sort of standard inline fan, either 4 inch or 6 inch or 8 inch or even higher up. Or in some cases, they'll use a uh, duct fan, such as this fellow right here. This is probably the cheapest option that you can use. And then if you want to adjust your fan speed down the line, you usually can't unless you add something onto it. Uh, like this right here, this is a manual uh, fan controller dial. Though uh, technically you're not supposed to use this with the duct style ones, only with the inline style ones. At least that's what electricians will recommend. But uh, that's about the extent of control that you can normally have. And if you want a lot more control than that, the commercial professional users uh, will often take their fans and hook them up to a really complex controller that also hooks into CO2 and all sorts of other stuff. However, there is an in-between those two levels, and that is inline fans where the uh, smart controller comes pre-built and pre-wired, and it's not too, too complicated. And I've decided to use this fan as my example for it. This is the uh, AC Infinity T6. Obviously, it's their uh, six-inch inline fan. And uh, this is one of the brands that I consider to be one of the better ones that are also not terribly expensive. And uh, essentially, this is a 6-inch fan, as I said. It blows 402 CFM, that's cubic feet per minute, at an impressively low 32 decibels. Now, in terms of power draw, it pulls 38 watts from the wall, which is less than most fans its size. This unit runs roughly $150 US on Amazon right now, which isn't bad at all uh, when you consider what you get for it when uh, fans with no built-in controller of any kind are usually about 70, 80, 90 bucks, that kind of thing. Generally, AC Infinity is known for their S series fans. These are uh, with controllers that are pre-wired but only come with one button. And that button allows you to just control the fan speed, making them a little bit like that dial manual one uh, that I just showed you, but they're kind of pre-built for you. The T-Series fans, on the other hand, offer a controller that's so simple and yet does so much, you're probably not even going to have to touch the manual in order to figure out most of the features of this thing. I'll also note that this fan comes with an 8-foot power cord as well as this 12-foot cord that attaches to a sensor, supposedly a Swedish-made uh, sensor. There it is right here. And uh, this measures humidity as well as temperature. And uh, it's quite sensitive, so uh, make sure it doesn't get damaged or anything. And as always, when it comes to sensors, always hang them at your canopy level. That's where a sensor of this type should be hanging out. Now, interestingly, when I looked into the reliability of this sensor, I found that while it's generally accurate and works quite well, there is a reported issue among certain growers that these sensors malfunction in HPS-powered flowering rooms. So that's an interesting note. HPS is becoming rarer and rarer, particularly uh, with viewers of my channel, but in case you do run HPS, just be aware that you may run into an issue with this sensor uh, where it doesn't give out the readings properly and you'll end up getting uh, diluted down to just the fan speed controls on this thing, uh, in which case the S series would probably be a bit cheaper. So just FYI if you still run HPS. Now let's get to this controller. The controller can have both one T series as well as one S series plugged into it at the same time and alter both of their speeds at once. For options, there's, as I said, the fan speed control from 1 to 10, and it sort of powers itself on slowly. It doesn't jump right to the top speed. Uh, it sort of slowly uh, makes its way there, which is good for the lifespan of the fan. 
There's also temperature and humidity programming on a trigger mode so that if a certain temperature or humidity is exceeded, then the fan will turn on. Then there's timer programming, which allows the fan to only be on intermittently for a set period. And then there's even an alarm system function, meaning that it will alarm under certain unwanted conditions, like high or low temperature or high or low humidity that you set at the controller. There's also this button with a leaf on it right here. All it does is it turns the screen off but the program or whatever it's doing is still on in the background, uh, just with no screen running. Having this level of control over your fan will actually make your life a whole lot easier. Probably 10% of the inquiries I get have to do with the humidity or the temperature being off in a room, and my advice tends to be to those people, as far as the cheapest thing you can do, you either boost your fan speed or you lower your fan speed, and this will do that for you automatically. Now, why is this a good fan otherwise? Well, first off, it's relatively quiet for a 6-inch, as I said. Let me turn it on for you. And there we go, now it's on. This is actually it at half speed, 5 out of 10. Now let's turn it up to full speed, 10 out of 10. 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now it's going at full speed. There we go. And it's not that quiet, but for a 6-inch fan, with uh, not even any ducting on it, it's not bad. We'll just turn it back down to about a 3. And it quiets right down. As I've told you guys in the past, all inline fans are significantly quieter below their max speed and will last significantly longer if you run them below their max speed, so it's not a bad idea to slightly go oversized for fans and then have them running at 60 or 70% of their capacity or something. There we go, turned it back off. Otherwise, AC Infinity is a good company. I know them quite well. I've seen a lot of growers use them. Uh, they have fairly good customer service. They apparently respond to inquiries quite regularly on the same day, uh, which isn't bad at all. You, you uh, contact some fan companies and all you hear is crickets. Trust me, I know. And uh, they don't just make fans, they also make uh, rather decent quality carbon filters like this one right here. They uh, fill them with Australian charcoal. I don't know whether Australian charcoal is better or worse than any other charcoal, but there you go. And uh, they even make ducting. This is that uh, slightly quieter, non-insulated ducting that they sell for relatively cheap. So there's that as well. And a sort of another nifty feature, if you guys may notice, there's a couple of bolts right there. And in fact, what you can do is take the entire motor box out of this thing while it's mounted and connected to ducting for easy cleaning. And you don't have to unhook, you know, everything and then you know, put the clips back together and all that, so makes for some relatively easy cleaning, which is a nifty feature. And as far as hanging this thing, it is not heavy at all. It's shockingly light. It weighs under seven pounds, which uh, I always enjoy it when stuff that has to be hung up uh, is a little bit lighter weight. So overall, I really like this thing. You're probably going to see it uh, in a grow of mine sometime real soon. A link to these T6s on their official website down below, uh, though I've actually recommended them in my Grow Gear shop for quite some time, so I'll link to that as well, and you can pick it up wherever you like, either one of those. And that's about it. Now you understand inline fans with smart controllers a little bit. For those wondering, we are going to get our G8 uh, test grow underway pretty quick. We've been building the space into a really killer testing area. Uh, with two compartments, one running the G8C3 and one running the older model, and we do have seedlings underway in them after some delays, so an update on that is going to be coming real soon, and that's going to be a fun grow. So subscribe for that, hit that like button if this was useful to you, and we'll see you all next time.